Yeah, that crossbow is super useful for starting off fights. Especially against ranged guys, you can kind of wound them before they get up to you. It's very nice. And it's not loud. Another, mother, another big plus, right? Okay, let's take a look here. Alright, so we're going to do like I said. We're going to kind of go up 283. Then we're going to head across. And then back down. I've already been there. Okay. Oh, encounter. Okay, roadblock. Coyotes. Oh. Alright. Oh, they're they're fighting. What's wait, 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 wait. I'm kind of confused here. What's going on? Oh, they're fighting some looters. Oh, is that right? Okay. Well, don't mind if we do then. We'll come up and get involved. Why not? As long as we get some actions before this, uh, before this guy with, what are you carrying? Looks like a, is that a revolver? Because if it is, that's bad news. Yeah, let them mess each other up. Yeah, do we need to use this right now? Oh, it is the enforcer guy. All right, let's let's get behind him. Yeah, let's move here. Okay, then you can set your baseball bat active. Yeah, he's gonna shoot me. I had a feeling that was coming. Oof, that hurt. Let's see if we can zap this guy. We might be able to. There we go. Alright, that'll make taking him out considerably easier. Alright, Max. Step up to the plate, buddy. Almost dead. Be able to finish him off, no problem. Okay, let's do that. He's still not dead, man. Those Coyote enforcers are ridiculous, right? Super tough. We got walkers entering the scene now because of all the noise. But I'm guessing. Two swings from here or get behind her. Let's do two swings from here. Okay, good. Now, move up here. Next turn, you can heal me. Max, go get into this action here. There we go. Nice. Okay, let's see. Let's do this. I'll come up here so we're not wasting any key. And smack her. And smack her. There we go. Yep, yeah, walkers behind us. Okay. Vic. Set active. Reload. I think that's going to come in handy. Yeah. Okay, Elaine. Why don't you come up here and patch me up? Go 
we go. Pretty good. We'll just move this way to get a little further away from those walkers. And I could just back up, actually, but it's just the one walker yet right now, so... I'll let them deal with them, but... Probably better to just deal with these guys. Yeah. Okay, let's get this guy head on then. I'll head up over here. Good hit. And then I think I'm gonna back up a little bit. little bit of a tough situation because I do have this walker back here I gotta deal with too. Hmm. Alright, let's move here and shoot this guy. There we go. And now we're gonna come up here and you're gonna heal me again. Okay, let's kill this guy, Max. There we go. And then go get next to this one. Dead. 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 Bleeding out over there. Okay. 6 AP. Let's smack this guy. Looks like there's a couple of walkers. Where's the other one? There, switch back, Vic. Alright, let's back up. Move here, take a swing. Nope. Alright. Uh-oh. That's alright, she's okay. There we go, nice hit. Move up one, that way you're a little further away from the walker. This guy's coming in, really? Alright. There we go. Nice. Oh, there's another walker coming in, and another walker coming in. Alright, we need to move Vic. Hey, 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 get off of him! Yeah, we should actually all kind of move back and form a line. That's what we're gonna do. Like this. Okay, Elaine can come back, hit this guy. Okay, he's dead. We're back again. That's good. Max can hang out right here. And I'm gonna move back as well. Yeah, we'll let these people come to us. I use that term loosely. Maybe they'll go after him. Even better. Perfect. <laughs> All right, then if that's the case, let's see if we can't go finish these guys off. Yep, that's one less we got to deal with. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, nice hit there on that walker, dude. There we 
we go. We'll make you dizzy, and then we'll back away. <laughs> Scumbag way of fighting, but I don't care. Yeah. Hey, man. No honor amongst thieves. Care about these coyote guys. Or how we get rid of them, as long as we get rid of them, right? All right, let's go over and try to get... Let's go kill these things before they turn into walkers. Max. So let's move up. We'll hit the thing on the ground. We don't want to kill it. We just kind of want to wound it a little bit and back off. So that they're still attacking him. Yeah, gnaw that ankle. Get him. There you go. Okay, so he's going to rise as a walker for sure. Now they're coming to me, which is fine. Yeah, you guys keep working on those dudes. Okay, dead. Good. And can you get over there and get a hit? You can. Nice. Okay, now, Max. Come help me, would you? How do I want to do this? Probably hold position? Yeah. No, get off of him. Get off of him. <laughs> you can smack him, but don't be don't be biting him. Oh, I dodged that. Did you see that? That's right. <laughs> like a pro. I just got lucky. Yeah, I'm fine with Lucky. Lucky's fine. Yep. Okay. Let's see. We could sidestep a little bit here. Take two swings. Okay, it's dead. And I can take three swings from here. Actually, let's move there. Oh, okay, didn't need him. All right. Sheesh. Okay, let's get patched up. Just in case I end up having to do something else crazy. Okay, and then patch up Pick. Max isn't hurt much, but let's go ahead and patch him up too. All right, let's get to looting. What do we got here? Hey, you can't care anymore. Vic. I carry anything else? No, nothing that heavy. Okay, she can. Now, the only reason I'm even think, you know, trying to grab this stuff is, again, because I can break it down. That's the only reason I'm even worrying about it, in the least. What about the scout? Yeah, you had some stuff that was worthwhile. Let's grab the fuel. Can't carry that much, huh? All right. Well, then get rid of that. Grab the gun. What do you mean I can't carry that much? She can't carry the gun. Yeah, she can carry the gun. Don't be silly. That's because I was hitting that button. Yeah. Really? Can't carry that either? Let's try it like this. Yeah, you can. Definitely want the Magnum. More specifically, the ammo. Okay, let's drop the leather jacket. 
Come on. Grab that instead. No, not the this. Ugh. Drop that. Give me that thing. No, can't. Too heavy. Mm, but I, I want to take it with me. <laughs> I want all the stuffs. All right, hold on. Let's take a look here. What do we have that we can trade away? We could trade that other armor for it, I guess. Yeah, like get rid of this armor. And take this one. And take that one. There we go. And then can't take the smaller item, really? Okay. There's another motorcycle helm. Carry that much, huh? I grab it? Maybe? Yeah, can, good. A lot of stuff. Okay, what do we got in the van here? Fuel and parts. Well, I want that, so let's dump this. And. Mystery can? Feels more important than the gun, but actually, let's do this. Can I get the fuel? I can. Can I still grab the gun? I can. So we'll just leave the helmet. What's the bite resist on that? Nothing. Free defense, though. And it looks cooler than the other helm. <laughs> That's the advantage. It looks cooler. Oh, is this going to be more fuel? Yeah, it is. And I can't grab it here. Pick? Maybe? There. Drop the claw hammer. Don't need that. And I don't need the hunting shotgun. Don't need the machete either. Or this face mask. I don't need this thing. Come on. Is there anything else? Let's go back real quick and just double check. Yeah, parts. Parts are pretty important. Okay, let's check these bodies over here and then get out of here. Mystery thing and some chips. Good. More guns, huh? Alright, well, let's grab the other stuff first. I can grab that. No, I can't actually. Max, maybe? Hold on. I can get rid of the machete. And we can get rid of the kitchen knife. Grab the gun. There we go. Leave the gun. Grab the cannolis. One of those situations. <laughs> okay, come on. Well, we need to head back. We're completely stocked up. So I guess we can kind of sweep out like around here just to just to scout and then head back. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to head this way. What is that? Serpent Street, huh? Okay, Serpent Street. We'll maybe see you tomorrow, but we're going to head back now. Yep, let's go to the shelter. No more random encounters, please. Just let us go home. Okay, apple trees. Okay, yeah, I guess we'll harvest those. And actually, since it, it crashes, your party's tired after traveling at night. Yeah, I got it. Okay, now, I have to make a cut in a video because it does crash on me when I do the first return to the shelter. Now, I don't think it'll crash on you folks, 
seems to be something to do with the latest update and the recording software, some kind of conflict. Um, and Double Bear, I actually submitted a, a, a trouble report with them, a bug report. So they're, they're looking into it, but it shouldn't affect you guys, but I am going to have to make a cut in the video right here. So I'll do that. I'll be back with you in just a sec. Okay, so here we are back in the shelter. It's something to do with that little summary that we get right when we get back from being out in the field. So, but we're back and there's really not much for us to do. I think I've got, what, one unique item, something like that. Let's see. Two unique items. All right, so let's select all this stuff. I'll grab that and that. Plane, select all. Put that into inventory. Let's see, medical. Let's go ahead and fill up her med pack. Max. Select all. Put it into inventory. Good. And then Vic. Select all and put that into inventory for now, anyway. Got a pretty good assortment of ammo being built up. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, let's go check the work board. I just want to see kind of where we're at status wise. Fence is done. Everything's done. Rooftop garden's done. Hey, awesome. Okay, let's go and end the day then. Well, actually, I should probably talk to people about the special items. Yeah, I should do that real quick. So let's go talk to a Mark and give him the spices. Got some spices for you. I hope that helps. And then let's go talk to... Go talk to Elaine. Come here, Elaine. Improve your mood. Here's some deodorant. Glad I could help. All right, and let's go rest. Okay, so the end of day 15. As we can see here, we picked up 19 fresh food, 93 preserved, our well bonus, 51 was consumed by allies. That was actually reduced because of my skills to only 38. We've got 522 preserved food remaining. That's pretty good. But at the rate that I'm adding people to the shelter, I, you know, I'm a little bit concerned about running out of supplies. Okay, morale bonuses. Luxury item gains, ally negotiation, likable characters. We found over, over 50 food in a day, so that's extra 20. Oh, that's nice. I uh, completed an upgrade and mood gained. That should be Vic, right? For the fence? I think so. Chef bonus, guard duty bonus, hospitality bonus, watchtower bonus, working toilets, generator, working well. Pretty nice. Uh, mood loss, yeah, I can't do anything about those people. Two unhappy, four okay, four content, and six with good mood. And we used up two antibiotics. We've got 12 antibiotics remaining, and we've got quite a bit of fuel. That's nice. All right, well, let's see. Typically, people want to talk to me right away. What's this? I've called this meeting because we have a decision to make that might affect everyone here. It's crucial that we weigh our options carefully if we want people here to continue to trust us to make decisions. Some people might not like our solution. No one likes to swallow a bitter pill. But if all possible, we should try to win their support as much as possible. Um, okay. Unaffiliated allies. Interesting. Okay. So here's jo here's Vic's supporters. Todd's supporters. What? Nobody likes me? What? What's the deal? 
Are these people with me then? The unaffiliated ones? The issue we're having right now concerns our water supply. Our water is filtered through the school's purification system. However, the last few days, some people here feel that the water tastes a bit off. Maybe nothing, but if there's a problem with the purification system, we could be drinking contaminated water. I'm familiar with the system and can handle the maintenance, but it's a question of how much time and material I must devote to it, if at all. Well, I haven't noticed anything off about the water, but uh, I've seen what's out there, and, and in my opinion, we need to use every bit of time and material we have to make this place that can stand the worst of it. Appreciate the difficulty of the situation, but every supply we have is going to be into securing this place. You've done all right, in, oh, in reference to us. You've done all right, so really think our water is a problem. Priority, I'll back you up. Hmm, okay. Given the circumstances we're in, I'm not sure why we're even putting this to committee. I don't think we should take any chances. I once did missionary, yeah, blah, 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 Todd. He's annoying. Like, why does he have any say? I mean, seriously, this guy is just annoying. He just got here. He'd done nothing for us yet. Like, ugh. Meh. It's worse than Doug. At least Doug has done stuff. Let's see. We don't have resources to waste on it. That's the first option. We need to take... We need to make this a priority. Davis, do whatever it takes to get it done. Minus 30 parts. Minus one gallon of fuel. Two days is a Davis' time. Uh, we can only spare a few supplies. It might take longer. But I don't want to risk it. Minus 10 parts. Minus five days of Davis' time. Let's go with that. Looks like I'm gonna have to jury rig any repair parts. So they both disagree. Well, whatever. Maybe we need to consider another approach? No, that's my decision, so piss off, people. Yeah, this meeting is over. Okay, so they don't agree with me, but they respect. Uh, he, but he respects my decision, and this dude, who I could care less about, just disagrees with me. Seltzer disagrees with the course of action, decreases the morale, subleader morale penalty applied, mood decrease for each ally. Well, whatever, I can deal with it. Oh, more stuff! Come on, I want to end this episode, Renee. <laughs> I have a request. I know everyone puts a lot of faith in my abilities, but I need a proper doctor here. There's a limit to what I can patch up. Yeah, I, I understand. Um, and that that other lady that we're teaching English is a doctor. I can't tell you that right now because I can't for whatever reason. But just trust me. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll look for one. There you go. Oh God, Anita, what do you want? What is it? Uh, I wanted to appreciate you picking me that first day instead of Renee. I know it wasn't an easy choice, but thank you for not taking her out there. Uh, yeah, okay, there you go. So I should get to learn more about being a capable doctor. We should definitely use one of those around here. Sure, there's a medical library that could help her out. Like a teaching hospital or clinic has one not far from here. Interesting. I'll look into some books to help her. I understand. I'll keep an eye out. Oh, my lord. Feeling a lot more secure here, knowing the fence is secure. And your words actually worth something. Anyhow, I'm going to have to have a smoke before the day creeps up on me. Okay, thanks, Vic. Oh, Mark, what do you want? <laughs> here, try this. Don't ask what it is. Just eat it. Something I wanted to tell you. I appreciate you taking us in. When this whole thing happened, I lost my direction. If I'd have met those two, I uh, felt responsible for them, probably would have drank myself to death. Uh, yeah. Don't mention it. Everyone likes your food. Focus on that. Bonus morale when Corvo is cooking a chef. Bonus when using a bladed weapon. No, no, no. Work on the food thing. Can't wait. See you at dinner. Okay, now I can end the episode. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I am Mal, and I will see you later.